Hey guys, have you ever heard of the Cheeto analogy? You know how the residue from the Cheetos gets stuck to your fingers? It's kind of like bad people or like bad influences in your life. You have to get rid of that residue in order to better yourself. The residue from these Cheetos just stick to your fingers. And we've all been there. We've all had these sticky people in our life who just hold us back and who aren't good for us. And we have to break free from that. It's okay to limit yourself from residue or sticky in your life. You want to be clean and happy and free to do better for yourself, to grow. And it's just like alcohol. Alcohol is that sticky mess that we allow in our life for so long and it's sad. Do we want to surround ourselves with clean, happy feeling or do we just want to constantly be drugged down in the influence of others? And it's a hard one because you think, you know, those Cheetos are so delicious, right? Just like you know, you're comfortable eating them, you're comfortable being around the people that you're used to being around, but you're not realizing that it's actually holding you back. You have to rid the residue and move on. Dump those bottles down the drain, distance yourself from the ones that are holding you back, and just move on with your life. You're just gonna have stains in your life like those Cheetos get on your fingers, those stains are gonna stay with you and you're not going to be able to move forward. That residue just keeps like sticking and sticking and sticking to everything that you touch. Just like when I was drinking, I always wanted people to drink with me. I was the Cheeto in their life. I was the one that was leaving prints on them because I wanted them to be like me. I wanted them to drink with me. I wanted them to partake in everything that I did and not realizing that I was just leaving negative impact on them. So now I'm here not drinking. I see things completely differently and I'm fine with that. I'm enjoying being the clean one, being the one that's not leaving the residue anymore. Um, and it's hard because when something feels so good, but yet is so bad for you and can just linger and linger and linger, it's hard to give up. It's hard to let go. It's hard to move on. But if we want better for ourselves, if we want to be healthier for ourselves, we have to learn to be okay with not always enjoying the <laughs> yummy, tasteful stuff in the beginning. We have to be okay with, you know, just doing what we need to do for ourselves. Nobody can do it for you. We all want to grab what's easy for us. We want to do what everybody else is doing. And I get disgusted with myself realizing that I was the one that was the constant residue in people's lives. Like, drink more, drink more, drink more. But now when I look at it, it's like, well, they chose to put their hand in it also. So, I mean, yeah, I influenced for a long time. And it's disgusting because I look back at high school and I was reading through notes and I was like, oh my gosh, we were talking about, did you drink this weekend? Since probably my sophomore, junior year. I look back and I'm like, man, the things that I could have done with my life if I didn't let alcohol be the main part of my life for two decades. It's quite disgusting, to be honest. Um, but like I've said before, we learn from our mistakes. Take your hand out of those Cheetos and let it go and move on and just quit leaving your residue on people. 
let them do what they want to do in a healthy way. Like if they're not drinking, don't push drinking on them. Don't make them feel stupid for eating healthy. I choose not to eat the Cheetos and I choose not to drink the alcohol and I choose to work out. Everybody does what they want to do, how they want to do it. it. Has to be on their time. If they want to have that residue stuck to them until the day they die, that's on them. But I sure as heck don't want that residue stuck on me until the day I die. I want to continue living, uh, living a healthy, sober life because inspiring my children, inspiring those around me, my daughter gets to have a different life than I had. She gets to realize that there is a whole different life out there besides alcohol. Alcohol is not life. And surround yourself with those that are a positive influence for you. I mean, it can't be that hard, can it? It's hard at first because all you knew was one way of life. And now it's completely different. I don't know. It's just one of those things that you realize that you could have done better, but you, you learn from your mistakes. And now instead of <laughs> scheduling brunches and drinks during the day, I'm out in nature. Like, that's what you got to do. You would never find me before I did 75 hard out on walks or sipping coffee through the day. If the kids weren't in school, I would be finding the most convenient way to find a drink. Lunch with a friend. Well, I would order a beer at noon. I mean, that's what you do, right? But no, now I focus on my health. I focus on drinking the water. I focus on like eating healthier and not letting that constant residue just hold me back. As weird as that may sound, think about it. Think about when you're eating the Cheetos and they just stick to your fingers and you have to wash it away. Just like you have to wash. You're washing that alcohol out of your life. You have a whole new clean life ready for you. And you don't know how amazing it feels until you actually, actually do it. What's stopping you from taking your hand off the bottle? Have you ever thought about that? I know for me, it was just the way of life. <laughs> that's all I knew. So that's what I thought I had to be. I thought that everybody only liked me because I was drinking. I thought everybody only liked me because I was the loud. I don't know if I was loud, but sometimes I'd be loud. But like I was the extrovert. I was the one always like planning things and getting people together. And because I was the Cheeto bag, I was the Cheeto bag. It's how pathetic that sounds. I don't know. It's hard. It's a hard one. But getting your hand clean, your body clean, your mind clean. There's a whole life out there. You start feeling better. You start losing weight. You start being more present with your family. You start being more present with friends that, you know, you used to only drink with, but now you actually get to enjoy their company and not wonder how you acted or what you said or, you know, all those things. Now, not only am I influencing people to be like, I used to be the fit one out of everybody, but now I'm the sober one. And it's, it's actually quite empowering if you think about it. If somebody's going to hand you a drink, you're going to drink it. Unless you have the mindset to say no and realize that you don't need the alcohol in your life. Are you overweight and miserable? Or are you just miserable? Does your body always hurt? Do you just complain about your life? Wish your life could be better? But then you realize that the one thing that is holding you back is your hand constantly on that bottle. Well, I look back and I'm the only one to blame for how I behaved, 
how I acted because I didn't let go of the one thing that was holding me back all these years. Get your hands dirty, wash them off, and move on. And now I get to focus on so many different things. Like my life used to be revolved around, when was I getting my next drink? What were we doing for the weekend? Revolved around drinking. In the evenings, it was just always like a new drink here, a new drink there. Like who's coming over? Who's drinking with us? Just because you cut your calories from food, you're still totally destroying your body with drinking like a slob. That was me. Oh, how about I just eat a salad for the day and then I can drink my life away in the evening. No, that's not the way any of this works. <laughs> Maybe you are your own residue. Maybe you need to wash your own hands and realize that you need to clean your, your own self up, your own mindset, and not keep being sticky with yourself and just try for 30 days and let me know how you feel. Like, why not give it a chance? Um, why does it always have to be like doom or gloom because you're quitting drinking? Why can't you look at it a health adventure or you want to do better for yourself? Wash your dang hands and get it together. There is a whole entire life out there. Say no to drinking for the most part. Work on it. Start little steps. Focus on drinking water. Focus on getting outdoors. Focusing on listening to motivational podcasts or reading motivational books. Um, realize that you don't have to to be full of just something that is going to hold on to you for the rest of your life. Because if you let the alcohol hold on to you, it will be with you until the day that you die. Because you can't, I mean, if it wasn't for, you know, my community, the support that I've had from so many people, like, I don't, I don't think I'd be near as far. I probably would have caved so many times, but then I look at the things that have caused, that were the Cheetos in my life, and I distanced myself, I've set boundaries, I've learned like how to interact with people differently, and those comments are, I mean, I get them quite often, like, oh, having a bad day, doesn't that make you want to drink? Nope, sorry, just because I'm having a bad day doesn't mean that I want to turn to alcohol because let me tell you, it actually made my days worse, to be honest. And then especially like when it comes to your children and you're having a bad day with your kids, like when I was drinking, I was not near as calm with them. Yeah, it's old. <laughs> like having children and um, navigating sobriety when you used to just turn to alcohol because society tells us as moms, or parents, that that's what we're supposed to do. Grab a glass of wine, your kids are annoying you. They're, they're not listening, you're having a bad day with them, or you had a bad day at work. So take a drink of wine, drink the whole bottle, take some shots, go drink, you know, some whiskey on the rocks. I don't know, that's how our society has made us. You just have to realize that, you know, don't let it touch you, don't let it affect you. Walk away from it, wash your hands from it, move on and realize that there's so much more to life than drinking. You just have to give it a shot.